exactly. So 1018 right now, we get the crude numbers at 1030 Wednesday morning. Looks like the number. So we're up here. This is the crude oil inventory EIA number. The survey number, which is the median analyst number, is looking for a decline of about 1.5 million barrels. The whisper number, which is the number that you can put in in Bloomberg, anybody with a terminal, a lot of industry insiders, uh, but less reliant, as in we can right. put a number in here that's going to skew that whisper number, sure. and it's dependent on nothing. The analyst numbers, that's dependent on their job. You're an analyst that's out yeah. of the loop, man. You're, you're in trouble. Nonetheless, they're looking for a decline between 1.5 and 2.5 million barrels. But boy, oh boy, like we talked about, what a yeah. move in oil we've had, right? Just this morning, man, we're at $58.22 right now. That, yeah, that's live. And early this morning, we were at 56. We were with a 56.20 handle, and we're at a 58.20 handle. $2 since 3 in the morning, 7 hours, basically, we've run up there. And let's just see what kind of volatility, if this is going to be even close. Now, what happens is you get this type of movement. Sometimes the available spreads don't line up very well because there's just been so much movement. So the 11 a.m.s. You'd have volatility. The highest spread has a floor of 57.75, which is amazing that usually they have spreads on Nadex that you can get out of the money if you want. Yes. Well, the, the highest spread out here is already 50 cents in the money. Right. Right. Because it's moved so much. It just moved $2 right. in no right. time. And now that's the 11 a.m. though, because those get set early at about yeah. 9. Let's see where the noons line up. You might have a little bit better action. There we go. We do. $58 is a price point we could use. Okay. Um, it still doesn't line up exactly. You're going to have 22 cents of value on either side. And, and maybe today's not the day for a, a pure volatility. I mean, maybe today's a day of a little mean reversion where you actually go, go bearish to, to pull back some of that on that number. I mean, crudes continue to struggle. Let's just see. Um, oops, that's the, yeah, those are the 12 expirations. Because let's just, I'm just curious. Like, you know, if you want a little bit of exposure to the downside, you're buying out of the money. Put basically, yeah. right, with a spread going from 58 to 56.50. I say you buy it, you're going to sell this. You're basically buying a put. You're selling the spread with a ceiling. Come on, come on, computer. Uh, you're selling the spread with a ceiling at 58, so you're 25 cents out of the money. But boy, oh boy, if you get a little mean reversion, man, you're putting up 15 bucks. Now you're 40 cents out of the money here. As in, you're, you're, you're selling at 57.84, yeah. contracts at 58.25, but not bad putting up 15 bucks. That's your max risk, and you got profit potential all the way down to 56.50. So you're risking essentially $15, and you got 135 down to 56.50. Um, if you're bearish, I like that trade. You know, you yeah, got to be look, bearish. And, and look at that API number last night. One of the targets got up in the okay. Tent. It's a monster number. Minus 3.7. Yeah, and that would be that would be the reason why. Yes. You get the whisper much bigger than the analyst because uh, the analyst yeah. numbers out there ahead of time. And have oil move, I guess, since last night. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Definitely. Um, that move did start, though, at about 3 in the morning. Yeah. That API out last night at, like, 4.30. Um, so we'll see what happens, man. Go for it. Jump around. Up yep. the L. Wow, look at that move, man. Yeah. Holy cow. 337,000 contracts. Top of the range is this 58.68. Yeah, this does. <laughs> way this looks here, it doesn't look like it wants to back off. Well, we'll, no, that's it. You know, yeah. it's tough to be yeah. bearish oil yeah. when you just traded up two dollars. Yeah, but and you do get mean reversion, man. Oh, yeah. It, oh, it would have been the same way. It would have been tough to be bullish the market yesterday at ten in the morning when the S and P's were ninety points off their high from early Monday morning. But guess what? I think we're up probably forty-five, fifty S and P points yeah. from that price level. No, I heard that on the, on the yeah. update. And well, and what you do have here, I mean, you come in the top of the range here is like that 5870. Sure. That it hasn't, sure. Been, hasn't been able to basically get up and over it. So, yeah. You know, we'll see where this uh, basically shakes out. The, uh, there's no doubt that combined with the uh, S&P's moving is. So what are you going to do? Let's see. Yeah. Let's see. So uh, if I'm looking, if you're, if you're bearish, you would hope that maybe you're going to have more of a supply, right? So we're going to come in at uh, minus 1.25. There you go. Okay. Yeah. And we'll see where we come in. And that would, you know, it, if you get, when you go from 3.72. 3 On the API, uh, sure. Could, people will be looking for that today. I said, okay, well, you know, what, what is, is this going to match up? Is it that far off? What do you mean? Sure. 
just jumping around a bit to see if we get a 58. Yeah, I mean, the dailies are way off because the dailies set last night. Um, and the only one that's even close is the one that set at 10 a.m. when the move already started. And you do get a price point of 58 if you wanted there. And like I said, you know, you could be a little bit bearish. You're selling it. You could be even bullish. I mean, the other side is if you're bullish, that's still a dice trade as well. Cents, yeah, right? you know, Particularly you, buying something at highs like this. You know, you've, you're up $2.00. You know, if you think you can go up another two dollars or a buck or fifty cents, well, sure, great. This is the way to do it inside the option market. Right, because you're you're getting in at fifty eight thirty seven. Contracts trading at fifty eight twenty three. So essentially, you're paying fifteen cents a premium in right. there, and your losses are capped at fifty eight dollars on the dot because you get a bad number here. This could drop to fifty seven seventy in a heartbeat. Oh, yeah. And at least you're capped at that fifty eight dollar price point. Still not a bad risk reward if you think the trend is just going to keep going up. Yeah. We hitting 56, uh, excuse me, 59, 59, $60 oil. We haven't seen $60 oil in a while, man. Welcome back, folks. Uh, oil in inventories, that's a big number. It is. 4.86 should... million barrels draw. So we got even more of a decrease. Yeah. Should be less supply, should equal higher prices. We'll jump back to the chart. There's your crude oil. Give it a moment to recalibrate. Not too much of a move, man. Yeah. Maybe the market's saying, hey, we just went up $2 in the last seven hours. Exactly. We knew this was coming. Um, pretty muted response with that type oh, of action, for it's, sure. Yeah. $58.26, no real movement at all. And um, we'll see how that shakes out, though. But the number coming in, headline number, as it ticks down, 4.8. Six. And wait, let's see. Uh, gasoline inventories rose 3.39 million. What a, what a diver divergence there, huh? Yeah. You know, so they used a lot of oil. They made it into gasoline, but then they didn't sell the gasoline. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Stockpiles built. Right, right. Uh, if we go over here for the... This is the top live. They give some good analysis sometimes. So there's your headlines. Yeah, oh, crude falls 4.86, gas rises 3.39. And um, the Bloomberg user survey was expecting about a 2.56, as we saw in that whisper. Yeah, and oil prices just cannot decide if they want to move higher despite the big drop. Basically, no, no reaction. Well, um, you know, I mean, it's pretty hard for oil by the barrel to basically sustain price when... A biggest part of the oil by the barrel is gasoline, and, uh, and, and you know, they get a build on gasoline. You know and what I mean? so look at this. It looks like nothing, but we just got 15 cents to the downside. And this is why I kind of said, you know, a little mean reversion, man. We just went up $2. Yeah. Do you really think oil is going to go up $4 in one day? That's really hard. Um, I wonder what would happen if we did get a decline of only 1.5, because we just got a decline of almost 5 million barrels, Yes. and the price just dropped 10 pennies. Right. Pretty right. interesting. Yeah.